All right, check this out. I'm shooting with the Sony ZV-1, which we all know is not the widest angle lens for vlogging, yet I have this on active stabilization, and check out how wide it is. I'm not even holding it all out for me with a big stick. I'm using the Sony wireless grip, but I have this wide angle. This is the first time I'm testing it, so I have no idea what it looks like, but this solution to bring wide angle to your ZV-1 cost me around 20 bucks and I'm gonna share this with you, what it is, uh, where I bought it, and how it works. So I'm gonna take it outside, see what the footage looks like, and make sure it's stable and looks good before I even think about continuing on with this video. All right, so I have active stabilization on. I'm outside, I'm using the built-in mics of the ZV-1. Now the footage is pretty smooth, right? And I'm not like this. Um, I'm actually at a really good um, field of view for vlogging. So this little lens, I think I spent $12 or something like that on it. And after I bought it, I went back to the page and they were selling them for $6. I don't know if they're sold out, but it's a pretty cheap wide angle lens. And I had to buy an adapter that was sold for the RX100 Mark VI. That gets put on and then you put on the lens and it works really well. I'm actually really excited, though my first thoughts here, it does add weight to it, and I wanna make sure it's not stressing that lens barrel because as we know, that lens barrel comes out. But what if I hold my hand way out here? Now this is with active stabilization. What if I turn off active? Let's see how wide it is if I go to standard stabilization. Let me pause this. All right, now this is with standard, so I'm even in a wider field of view, but I would use active with this lens because then that gives me that stabilization. I'm gonna put active back on because what I'm seeing here with standard, and you can see it too, is the vignetting in the corner. So we kind of need that little bit of crop uh, with the active, but this lens means you can use active and still have a wide field of view. Let me put it back to active. All right, so I'm back in active mode, and this is pretty cool because Again, it allows me to have the perfect field of view on the cheap. It doesn't cost that much, but it's up to you whether or want you want to decide to do this because you do have to put an adapter on the front of the lens. It sticks on with tape that's provided on the adapter, but in the description below in this video, I have links to that adapter and the wide angle lens I bought, and I'll also link to some other options that I didn't try, but you might want to look into if this one is sold out. But I feel this is a must for every ZV-1 owner because now it makes the camera what it should have been in the first place and you don't have to spend much money to get there. Makes me love the ZV-1 that much more. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed holding my phone in my left hand. This is the lens right here. It's a Vivitar HD AF high definition 4.3X wide angle converter with macro Japan optics. Wow, that's a long title. You can get this for like 650 or under seven bucks right now. And it's a, little, it's a little hefty, it's glass, it's not plastic. And the camera, you also have to have this adapter, which they're cheap, 15 bucks. It sticks on with 3M adhesive that's on the back of it and it is removable. So we just wanna put this on and screw it into the threading that the adapter gives us and you are good to go. All right, one thing you might be curious about because I am is what this looks like with the wide angle adapter and if I take it off. So I'm gonna unscrew it here in real time. It's on the camera, so I'm gonna reach in here, see how wide it is. I'm about a foot away from the camera right now. If I unscrew this, so um, you're getting quite a bit wider, a wider field of view with the adapter on and that comes into play when you're walking around with the camera and using active stabilization. That's really all this is good for. Let's test this product showcase feature again and I'll show you this cheap under $7 lens up close. All right, so here's a look at the uh, lens up close and this is using that product showcase. It's amazing, this thing always blows me away. This is a uh, Vivitar lens under seven bucks, at least right now. It might go up, it might be out of stock, I don't know because these things are pretty cheap and it's glass, it's a little hefty, but it's not too heavy, so I think it'll be okay on the camera. When I'm storing the camera, I'll take this off 
If I need to use active stabilization and need that wider field of view, I'll screw this on and do what I need to do, and then I'll probably take it off. Here's one more look at this, and of course, this ZV-1 is freaking incredible with the focus. All right, so how does this look? That was a quick, quick and dirty demo of this cheap Vivitar lens, which you can now get on Amazon for $6 and some change. You just get that little adapter that allows you to screw on a 52 millimeter lens, which is what this wide angle lens is. There are other 52 millimeter wide angle adapters you might want to look into. I would avoid getting heavy ones because it could damage that lens barrel, I would think, over time. You can also unscrew this after every use and just put it on if you need to use that active stabilization. So really awesome uh, choice for the ZV-1 to make it a little bit wider. And I would suggest to Sony to maybe make your own slim light wide angle adapter that somehow can attach to this camera and do it in a better way that fits the camera better. I think that would be a great solution and who knows, maybe they will think about it. So if you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. I'll be back soon with another review. I'll see you then.